Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the Mr. Coffee espresso machine. So I re recently purchased the Mr. Coffee One Touch Coffee House Espresso Maker and Cappuccino Machine. It retails for $279. I was able to get an open box for $168. If you scroll down here, sometimes you can see save with used, very good. I found an open box from Amazon for $168. So unfortunately they do rebox it. You know, these these things come in some pretty nice boxes with a lot of display, but when you get them from Amazon, they're reboxed with a little sticker on them that kind of tells you just thanks for giving it a second life. So they always do a pretty good job. I'm not sure what I'm going to be getting. It says it has some imperfections on it. So okay, good. I got the manual. Got a scoop. Okay, so be careful when you're unboxing it. This uh, was kind of tucked away in there. You might accidentally throw that away. It looks like that's the single shot and the double shot is in there. Okay, so I've got it all unboxed. I'm amazed. It looks brand new. It said it had some imperfections on it. I wonder if maybe the box was damaged, but this thing doesn't look like it was used. You've got your porta filter. There's your double shot, single shot. There's your tamper and scoop. It's all plastic. Um... You know, there are some light, light scratches up here, but man, that's nothing. But this thing looks pretty neat. I've got the other Mr. Coffee espresso and cappuccino maker. I'll be doing a side-by-side -side comparison with it, as well as I'll be doing a detailed review of this one. I'm not sure what that is. We've got to take some tape off. There's a switch. Buttons. Very nice display side looks really nice back no cord storage we've got the cord again uh, maybe it was plugged in so let's just look at the bottom 1040 watts 120 volts 60 hertz yeah model number bvmc em 6701 ss so yeah got the rubber feet this thing looks brand new okay there's what the espresso head looks like where the hot water is going to come out okay so i've got all the tape off let's go dimensions now about eight and a half inches left to right front to back's about 11 inches and this thing's only about 12 and a half about 12 and a, almost 13 inches tall and you don't have to lift any lids on the top or anything cord's about two feet long and it's a two-prone cord so let's look at the manual, comes with a manual, operating instructions, I'm gonna go through and read all of this. Looks like a pretty nice manual so far. Yeah, looks like a nice manual. Let's look at the fil port -a filter Plastic, got a screw. This is similar to their other Mr. Coffee handle, but this is all plastic, but this is metal. Here's the double shot. This is plastic. These are designed to come apart. I'll show that later in the video. They just snap in. But we'll have to see if there's a trick to getting them out. There's the single shot. Again, that's plastic. Let's take a look at this drip tray. So it's got a little... Um, pops up when this drip tray fills up um, this pops out and it looks like it pops through that hole to let you know that it's full looks like there's a compartment that you know looks like there's some water that comes down from the from inside the machine that's gonna help fill this drip tray up too this seems very well made no, no sharp corners no nothing This has got a really big milk frother. Again, there's a big power, there's a power button. I'll bet it's, it lights up. We've got a water reservoir with a, that's a nice handle. A lid that comes all the way off. Not the biggest water reservoir, but yeah, feels nice. I don't see any water filtration system. Slides on. That's a bit, so there's this lever here. You gotta, well, let me show you. There's a little something here. You gotta push down or no, lift up to get the milk frother off. 
So it slides in. It doesn't lift out. It slides in and out. So you can just push it in and, and lock it, but you got to lift that up and the milk frother comes out. So that's a ginormous milk frother that holds a lot of milk, looks like. You know, I'll bet we can, we can take this and put this in the refrigerator probably. This handle turns. I'm sure this comes apart. I'll do that later. And there's a hose. Show you how to clean all this and use this as a big knob. You know, it feels, it feels, it feels okay. This is all plastic. Except for just a little bit of metal, but that's a huge milk frother. Oh, and it's got a little track. You got to slide it in. And then it'll stop. So then like there. I don't see. Oh, that's nice. So if you got a little bitty cappuccino cup, you can move the um, drip tray. Or you put it down there. Okay, let's look at the control panel. We got a clean button, latte with two little LED lights, cappuccino, uh, froth button, pre-programmed, and manual. And some lights there. It looks really nice, it looks really nice. And you got this big knob, you move this in and out. So let's see how this goes in. It's kind of tight, so you got to really turn it. Yeah, that, that looks good. Again, that's a all plastic scoop and a tamper. <laughs> okay, so I am going to put some water in it. We're going to do the setup procedure. So this is an unboxing and setup. I'm not going to do any espresso or milk frothing. I'm going to say that for my detailed review. But if you do, if you did just buy this, I am going to go over the setup process now. Okay, so cleaning the unit prior to first use, but there's something that really stuck out to me. Remove the red plug from the bottom of the water reservoir. So, since this unit was, I didn't see a red plug, you know, but you kind of want to make sure that you don't have a red plug here or there, because that's a pretty important step. Okay, so they want us to wash Take the res see these plastic reservoirs, they want to well, wash all of them with soap and water before you use it. Okay, then it talks about priming the unit. We've got to prime the unit. Fill the water reservoir to the max line. Okay, so I filled both, I washed these out with soap and water. I filled both of them up with water. You know, this one's normally going to have milk in it, but for this process, they want water in it. Okay, so it said to put one of the filters in. I put the double shot filter in the porta filter. And then it says to install the porta filter. Don't put any coffee grounds or nothing in. Leave this nice and empty. And again, to get the porta filter in, you got to come in here kind of at a 45 degree angle, kind of lined up there. Then you'll see when you've got it right, it'll go farther up. See right there. If you're not right, it's over here. It's not going up. But when you're right there, it goes all the way up. Then you got to hold the machine with the other hand. It's kind of tight. And it should come out at a 90 degree angle. Now don't, don't break it, but it should come out right at a 90 degree angle. Next, get you a cup. So you're going to have some hot water going into this and then direct this steam nozzle or this water, this milk nozzle, direct it into the cup. So that when water comes out of the porta filter, it's going to go in here and there. Okay, so now we're finally to the point where we want to, we want to turn it on or plug it in. And we're going to come over here, turn this switch on. That lights up when it's on. So towards the back is on, towards the front is off. So it will light up when it's on. Now I've got some lights here on the front. Okay, so it says these, these are kind of pulsing. And it says they're heating up. So it's heating the steam, it's heating the milk up, supposedly, and heating the water up. So once those are steady, so once those are steady, we're gonna press the manual espresso button. And that's what it looks like. So we're going to press this button once they're steady. And then we'll eventually press this one. But we're first going to press this top right one. I'm still waiting on this one. Okay, so they're both on steady. I'm just simply going to press this one. Okay, that blue light came on. I can hear a pump running. 
Okay, it sounds like it's priming the pump. It's not super loud. Haven't gotten any water out yet though. Okay, just starting to get some water out. It did take some water out of the reservoir. So there's the water that's coming out. And the machine does get a little warmer. Or, I mean, a little louder. So it says it should, should stop. I'm already at six ounces. Going on eight ounces and it hasn't stopped yet. Okay, so it did stop, but it man, it ran it ran ten ounces through this. So now both lights looks like both lights are on steady again. Now I press the manual this button, this bottom right hand button, and make sure this is directed towards the cup. dry now I didn't have it filled up to the max line maybe I it told me to fill it up with water to the max line but man it ran a lot of hot water through there so make sure I thought I thought this container would be enough but make sure you empty the container after you do through the porta filter and then when you do this one make sure you, you might have to have a couple containers ready it runs a lot of water through there and you get a lot of steam a lot of condensation on the control panel it didn't ever, it never said where to put this, you know, so I just put it right there. Okay, so now it says the, the pumps are primed and ready to go. But they still want you to run one more thing of water through it on, a, on these different settings. So now I'm going to put more water in here. Okay, so I filled this water reservoir back up. Well, this is the milk reservoir. I put water back in it. And I still have plenty of water back here in this reservoir. So let's just see how this did. So it's still got some water in it. So let's put it back on. Again, you really gotta hold the machine. Okay, so these lights are on steady. Now it says just do a double cappuccino. Press this button twice so it's over here on the right. Make sure you got your porta filter in. This is directed. <laughs> Okay, so you get about six ounces of water through here. And then we're gonna get some water through here. After this step, this will finalize the setup. Again, check out my, my other videos. I am gonna be doing a comparison with the other Mr. Coffee. I'll be doing a comparison with the Breville espresso maker and other espresso makers. Thanks everybody for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.